So what we can do now is do the unequip event. So now in our unequip item function for my switch, I'm going to add a new element, a new entry, switch, whatever. And this is going to be, again, ID weapon. I might actually move this back a bit. And over here, what we need to do is we need to do a add item so that we would get our um, pickaxe or axe back when we unequip this. And for the item, we need to use our equipped weapon like so. And then we can set our equipped weapon to an empty item. So empty item, connect over here. And then we can do our clear HUD create UI. Pretty simple, I would say. So now I'm going to compile and save again. Now we can go back to the event graph where we have our server unequip item. Whoops, I moved this, which is not good. Because I messed up my order a bit. Let's make this bigger. Move this down. Make this even more bigger. Move this out to get more space. And for this switch, again, it's the same thing. Another entry or exit, rather. So, weapon. And what we need to do now is we need to do a dis destroy actor, like so. And we need to get our equipped weapon slot variable and we need to destroy this, like so. And I think that's it. So if we compile and save, press play. Actually, let's do this two player screen so that we would see if it actually does replicate properly. So in the client side, I'm going to pick up these items. Why this doesn't fall? Why this doesn't fall? That's interesting. Okay, we might have to fix that. So let's try the axe. Axe is in our hand. Great. And we cannot unequip it. Oh, what just happened? Where did my items go? I think that's an issue because we cannot unequip it yet properly. So that might be the fault. So let's try opening up our UI inventory and creating this functionality because I forgot to do that. So I've already dragged in my weapon icons from over here. And right now I'm going to use just the weapon one icon. And I think we can just copy this part like so, change the boots icon to our weapon one icon. There we go. And repeat the same pattern as we have over here. So true goes into our branch and this goes also into this branch like so. And now we need to get our equipped weapon like so, to check if it's empty. There we go. And now in the bottom, we need to do a event on our weapon one button clicked, like so. And I will just copy all of these, except for the event itself, to make this go quicker. You can pause to see if you don't have these functions, but you should have. Otherwise, I have no idea how are you following this tutorial without watching the previous ones. And uh, now I will change this equipped boots to my equipped equipped weapon. So get equipped weapon. Connect this to the brake. And the type needs to be a weapon type. There we go. So compile and save. And I think that should be it. So let's test this out again. 
to see what's happening we still have no gravity for those ones okay we might fix that in a second so press I and it removes all of the pickaxes and the axe as well just got removed and we cannot unequip this let's see what did I miss so I found the issues so the first issue why we can't uh, well at least I can't unequip a weapon maybe you already noticed this I had a mistake here in the uh, UI inventory where we are unequipping boots this is set to true and this actually needs to be a false because here we are checking is the name empty and if it's not empty then we can un uh, unequip it but if it is empty then there isn't anything we should unequip because we already have removed an item or it hasn't yet been there and uh, since I copied this then I have this same mistake over here as well so make sure that this is false and the other problem why our items are disappearing is I just noticed that I have a bad node in my remove item function in our inventory system so here we are removing an item we are searching for it if we have found it then we are checking the amounts and so forth and if the amount is zero then we are removing if you hover over this you can see that remove all instances of item from RI so what we need to do instead is remove remove index like so so now rem change this with this so remove index reconnect the pins and for the index use the search item index and actually we can just do a reroute over here and connect this like so so now compile and save pause the video if you need to to see what's going on in here because you might have the same problem as I did if you are following my videos carefully and uh, yeah don't worry about big errors if you see any errors that means I have them as well because I'm documenting everything I do in this project so leave a comment down below if you have noticed some mistakes because I don't really have a plan for this game I'm just developing and filming and explaining along the way what I'm doing so sorry for uh, sorry for my mistakes I'm just human so now let's test this out again Let's pick up the items. Let's equip a pickaxe. Unequip pickaxe. Equip axe. Unequip axe. And everything seems to work just as it should. Great. Now let's create some animations uh, for different types of weapons. So how do we do that is by going to our animation blueprint so I have mine over here animation blueprint and inside of here we are going to do another attack so I'm gonna move this like so and I'm gonna drag and add a new state and I'm gonna call this attack whoops caps lock attack smash and also do a way back to movement and over here from this movement uh, going back to the movement we are going to do is attacking and we are going to make sure that this is equal to false like so so now we have a way back from our smash animation and now I might actually set this smash animation like so and to get to our smash animation we need to check what um, item we have so I'm going to add a new variable and I'm gonna call this is smashing smashing <laughs> smashing and I will drag both of these variables in and I'm gonna get these and I'm going to check and boolean to see if both of these are true and if both of these are true then we are doing this so compile and save now for the other one we need to make sure that this is false so we're going to do a equal to 
and now we're going to do a and boolean check and actually this needs to be like so for better visuals and connect this like so and so compile and save so now what we need to do is we need to create our is smashing variable inside of our third person character and we need to notify the server character that we need to smash instead of attack normally so I'm gonna go back to my third person character to my server equip item function and uh, actually first I will add a new variable and I'm gonna call this is smashing of a boolean type and here where we are equipping our items at the end I'm going to set this to false where we have a equipped axe and where we have this equipped pickaxe I'm going to set this to true and one more thing that we need to do is we need to set this variable to be replicated and one last thing that we need to do in the event graph is for the unequip item where we are destroying our weapon actor I'm going to set my smash back to false so that by default I would use the regular attack animation rather than the smash animation so now we can compile and save and go back to our animation blueprint and in the event graph we need to get our is smashing and we need to set this is smashing inside of our animation blueprint like so so I'm gonna compile and save press play let's pick up items whoa pick up items there we go press I select pickaxe attack and we are smashing smash 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 <laughs> so we have done everything that we wanted to do in this video so that's going to be it for this tutorial and uh, yeah see you guys in the next tutorial leave a comment down below let's chat and uh, bye